And then, gosh, this is the Yorktown. It's just so exposed. And mm -hmm. McCoy is able to cut through his, like, I don't know, enthusiasm for the technology and be like, this is a snow globe in space. Wow, that is impressive. She's a beauty, isn't she? What a damn monstrosity. Couldn't we just rent some <laughs> space on a planet? Showing geographical favoritism among inducted Federation <laughs> worlds could cause diplomatic tension. Looks like a damn snow globe in space just waiting to break. He's so good at like cutting through the, the I don't know what you call it, the, the details. Yeah, and just cutting through it and getting to the point. He's done this several mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. He's just... He's right. It looks in. It looks difficult to defend, and it's ready to break. Mm -hmm. what are they so doing? you get all these science nerds. They're like, "Oh my yeah. gosh, look at the engineering! Oh my gosh, the yeah. possibilities!" But then you get a realist saying, "Like, mm, but there are problems mm. right there. There's a problem yeah. right there. There's a problem." Yeah, and, and the, the space, the starship needs both of these personalities. But yeah, that's right. The way he cuts through it, and then like right down to like simple terms, and like clearly here's the problem that I've exposed. Right. Super good. Right, because like it's a snow, a snow globe has something inside of it that you want to keep mm -hmm. inside. It's also fragile. Yep. If you drop it, yep. it breaks. Yep. So he's getting the circle, like the sphericalness of it. He's yep. getting it's the containerness of it and the fragility oh. of it. Like mm -hmm. he's really, he chose the right object to describe it. Spot on analogy. Man, if they had just had him on the Yorktown design and security team, it wouldn't have been a problem. It wouldn't be a it wouldn't be a snow globe in space anymore. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I mean, gosh, if they put it near Earth in sector zero zero one, like it's super defense defensible. The Starfleet is out on the outskirts of the Federation defending it, and it's exposed like a planet. Sure, yeah. But it seems like in this movie, it's like it's on the frontier. It it's the population's too large for a frontier snow globe. It'll be relevant in the. We'll talk about this a little bit more as t as we go through here. 